Why are you sizing me up already? You're already looking at me sizing me up, dude. Why are you sizing me up? I feel like I'm gonna get killed. That damn show? <laughs> Professor Kyle trains jujitsu every single day, like three times a day. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. This is the VIP entrance. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. ready. Alright, so what yeah, are we doing today, in. fellas? I told him you kind of show him some jujitsu self defense stuff. Okay. I told him right. I will bring you down to the guy. To the guy. <laughs> this is the guy. This is Professor Kyle, black belt. But Dan just got suited up. I don't got my. My black belt, yeah, but it's coming. I'm gonna get the pink belt. Pink belt. Pink belt. <laughs> I'm doing that. I feel like I'm gonna get killed. Why are you sizing me up already? You're already looking at me sizing me up, dude. Why are you sizing me up? <laughs> <laughs> Which angle is the one that you're Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's right here. Show him exactly where, Dan. <laughs> right, there. right here it hurts. My vagina, My vagina hurts. <laughs> You better continue to stretch. I am. I'm stretching. This is the most stretching I've done in like years. Oh man, that feels good. I've not stretched for a long time. It feels good to be in here. This is it. All right, let's go home, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, it's official. Love it. Thank you. So I think we could loosely define jujitsu as a grappling art. Yeah. That is the art of control to submission okay and you look at like a lot of other grappling arts like judo and wrestling right and the focus is, is a little bit different right so judo is going to focus on the throw for wrestling they want to focus on on the pin but for jiu-jitsu the match doesn't stop at a pin okay it stops at a submission so either like a strangle or a joint lock we're going to do our best today to try to break it down into four easy to learn phases of control okay so we're gonna go about it from a self-defense type of situation, okay? Because that's how most people are gonna view martial arts and, um, in general, right? On how to protect themselves, right? Yep. Because that's like every person's fear is they can't protect themselves, okay? So we're gonna do a standing situation and then we're gonna do a ground situation, okay? So I'm here with my brother from another mother, <laughs> black hair, jiu-jitsu brown belt, Jesse, also two-time Pan American jiu-jitsu champion. So the first thing, before we get into moves, okay, is we need to talk about self-defense, okay? So understand this, guys. 99% of all altercations are 100% avoidable. Most of the time, uh, a altercation will take place because we have egos. Right, so if somebody comes up and they disrespect you, yep. okay, disrespect. Yeah. Yep. Respect. yeah, it gets you angry, yep. right? But the hardest fights that we're gonna encounter, especially as men, yeah. are gonna be the ones that we have to walk away from. Yeah, but I mean, you get into these peacock situations. I only came here to do two things, man. Kick some ass and drink some beer. It's like we're almost out of beer. <laughs> yeah. You know, these guys that are peacocks and you're just like, oh God, here we go. Yeah, and the you thing know. is, is when, you train in a combat art, you know that you can take it to here. But just because you can take it to here, it doesn't mean that you should. Especially if you understand the capability of somebody else that goes, oh man, like I don't think he's ready for this. You know what I mean? Right. Like, he's not prepared to deal with that. Yeah. All right, so the first phase that we're gonna look at is how to go from a standing position down to the floor. Why do we want to take them down to the ground, okay? Our goal is to limit his explosive kinetic energy, okay? If we're standing up, okay, so it just stands up, okay? So he can throw a punch, okay? And it can travel from his feet to his hips up to his shoulders, right? So he has a lot of power that he can generate from a standing position, okay? When he's down on the ground, it's not as much. Okay, so the big thing that we need to worry about as a grappler, okay, when we're standing is the distance, okay? So um, if we're in that 1% of a situation where we do have to protect ourselves, 
okay? So the first thing I need to think about is the distance. So I want him two arms length apart. So go ahead and hold your arm up, Jesse, okay? So why is that, okay? So he's far enough away where if he goes to strike me, his body will give me some type of indicator that he's gonna strike me, okay? This is called the green zone, okay? Because I have enough time to react. If I'm one arm length apart, okay? I'm not far enough away where I'm, I have enough time to react, okay? So here, we're gonna be two arms length away, okay? So when Jesse goes to throw a punch, okay, I'm, I need to cover and step in. So notice, when I covered, I'm gonna protect the back of my head. You see it all the time in combat arts where somebody wings a punch and the person just protects their face and the punch will wind and hit the back of the head too. And this is the most vulnerable part. That's right, for sport fighting, it's illegal to hit to the back of the head because it's so effective, okay? So we need to make sure in a self-defense situation that we protect the back of our head too, okay? So we're here, okay? When you say it's, well, I have a question. So when you say it's it's vulnerable back there, like like as far as in, you can be injured easy back there? Yeah, it's or, gonna knock you out. Yeah, sure. It'll rack your, okay. your brain and it'll move in your head and it'll cause you to get concussed and get knocked out. We're gonna be two arms length apart, okay? So Jesse goes to wing a punch. So right away, I need to step in and cover. So now I'm in tight and I'm gonna enter what's called the clinch. Okay, so I'm gonna reach around his back here, okay, I'm, and I'm gonna grab his hips. So now I went from the green zone to the green zone again. Because here, Jesse goes to hit me, and here I'm, it's just arms moving, okay? Yeah. He doesn't have the same explosive energy because he can't wind and get that kinetic energy to wind up, okay, to generate that power. So I'm here, I'm in the clinch. Now, I want to take him down to the ground, okay? So, I'm going to step behind here, okay? I'm going to change my level to get a hold of his hips, okay? Um, if he gets his hips away from me, okay, um, he can break away from me. So, um, I want to control his hips. So, I change my level. Now, I'm going to scoop his hips, okay? And I'm walking forward. So, notice, when I walked him forward, I let go, okay? Um, I don't want my hands to be trapped underneath him, because then I can get rolled over, okay? Now, phase two of our jiu-jitsu is get past an attacker's legs. It's very important. That's what I was thinking too. I was like, I feel like you're gonna get kicked right away. Yeah, because for here, for self-defense, self he can do this technique called an up kick, okay? And better men than us have been knocked out by an up kick. So, when I take him down, so, two arms like the part, okay? He throws a strike. I cover, I clinch, okay? I scoop his hips and I body lock him. I'm gonna step over his legs on the takedown, okay? Okay. So now I'm in what's called the mount <laughs> position, okay? So phase three is work our pins, okay? So from here, I have him pin. For a self-defense situation, this is the spot to be. Because here, we can be like, calm down, calm down, calm down. Person on bottom does not have the ability to hit the person on top. Person on top has the ability to hit the person on the bottom, okay? Now, just because we can hit them, that doesn't mean that we should hit them, okay? We don't wanna break our hands, we don't wanna face any type of legal problems, okay? So this is the spot where if there's an attacker, we try to get them to calm down, okay? Now, I'd say they're they're on drugs or they're intoxicated in some way, shape, or form, and they're, and they're not calming down, okay? We're gonna work a submission now, okay? This is called Americana, okay? So from here, okay, I, I don't wanna use all my arms because if I just use my arms, okay? If he has a good power with his hips, he can use his hips to bridge up and roll me over, okay? Yes, so when I go to do the Americana for mounts, so step one, T-Rex arms. Okay, so now when I go to pin, I can lay my weight, okay, and stay heavy here, okay? Now, I'm gonna keep his wrist pinned, I'm gonna take my second hand, and I'm gonna come under his elbow, and I'm gonna grab my wrist. Now, I wanna look towards his hand. If I'm looking at his face, he can bring his other arm over and start to gouge my eyes, okay? All these bad things, but here I look away, and I'm gonna hide my face. Now, I want his palm to face the sky, 
Okay, so now I'm gonna pretend his arm is a paintbrush. Okay, so I lift his elbow, okay, and I drag a line from his head all the way down to his hip. Okay, to finish, it's a shoulder lock. Okay, I'm it doesn't look like much. That will wreck you. That little bit of movement, yeah. If, you're, if you get drug that all the way down, yeah. you wouldn't even be able to move your arm. Really? It just, you want to feel, feel it? Yeah, I want to feel it. All right. Okay. So T-Rex arms. Wait, wait, I'm just like this? Yep. Okay. Come on here. Now, when I turn your palm to face the sky, yeah. you should feel some type of difference right yeah. away. Yep, do you feel that? Yeah. Now, when it starts to go on, yeah. just tap my hip with your hand, okay? Okay, okay all right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Language, Dan. Language. Language. No, Sorry, supposed to be on you about that. No weapons. You want to try it on me? Yeah, let's try it on you. So, <clears throat> so you land, you get the takedown, you land on top of me. You want a strong position. So I'm close to you, right? But you want your head a little bit away. Okay. So I can't punch you. Okay. Okay. Use both your arms. Uh -huh. Your uh -huh. arms. Now. He's, he's freaking out. That's for that's for his wife. He's freaking out. He's freaking okay. out. Yep. Like, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. down. He's not calm down. down. Okay. So, T-Rex arms. Okay. Now you're gonna use your body and you're gonna pin his arm to the mat. So I want to only go for the yep. one. Okay. So both okay. on one. Now. Lay your hips back so they're on top of his hips. Okay. Good. Now keep your elbow that's by his head mm -hmm. down on the floor. Yeah. Now you're gonna go under his elbow and you're gonna grab your wrist with no thumbs. Grab what? My wrist? Yep. Palm okay. down, no thumbs. Now his palm is already facing the sky. Yep. That's yep. good. Now yep. you're gonna keep this elbow heavy. Okay. But you're gonna lift here just a little bit. And now paint. drag a line, head to hip. Like this? Yep. But keep okay. the top of his hand on the mat. It seemed like there's more room. It's not much movement at all. It seemed like it, it could go farther back, yeah, but it it's not. You're gonna ruin their shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's take our same sequence. Okay. So. So let's say hypothetically, okay, I'm, I, I had him out. I'm trying to get him to calm down, calm down, but he's really tough. So, so I'm, I'm going to ask you guys, growing up in the Midwest, what's a really common sport that a lot of high schoolers do? Football? Wrestling. Wrestling. Wrestling, yeah. Wrestling okay, is yeah. really big in the Midwest. Play, yeah. So like a big thing that I hear from the law enforcement officers that train here is they go to hold down the perpetrator yeah. and they're able to get out because they wrestled in high school, okay? So I'm trying to get him to calm down, but he traps my arm, and now he uses me, he bridges his hips up, so now I'm on my back and I'm in what's called the closed guard, okay? So again, okay, I, I want to manage the distance. So there's a saying that we say here, okay, if you can manage the distance, you can manage the amount of damage that you take. If Jesse's able to get his head up from here, okay, this isn't good for me in a self-defense type of a situation, because here, he has the ability to hit now, okay? So the first thing I need to think about when he gets on top of me for a self-defense a self type of situation, okay, um, is I need to get control of his head. What I want to avoid is I want to avoid trying to sit up because you see it all the time in videos where a person on bottom tries to sit up and they just get punched and punched and punched and, and then pretty soon they're knocked out. Or see? the other one too is like people spin up. Yep. They'll spin like- Yep, like, and they know, give up their back. Yep. So, we're gonna take advantage of the fact that we have our legs to control our opponent, okay? So I'm, I'm gonna use my legs, I'm gonna pull him forward, okay? I'm, and I'm gonna get his head. Does it really work that easy? Oh yeah. Can I, yeah. can I try that? Can I try that? Because I feel like that doesn't want to pull him forward. You wanna feel it on me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm just saying, like, yeah. like, I mean, like, if I'm like literally sitting here and I'm like, doop, doop, doop. Okay. <laughs> okay, it does work. <laughs> So, well, if you notice, he's taking out your posts too. Yeah, yeah. Like your arms are what you pull. Oh, is that what's happening? But I definitely he's knew doing it. Like, he's taking your. He's taking away. Let's see that again. So, so if you're trying to pull, yeah, yeah. he's pulling. Yeah, I got you. Okay, okay. I'm trapping his arm, his arm here. Yep. And I'm controlling his head here. Okay. He goes to hit me with this arm. Yep. And he can't because I'm controlling him. Okay? okay. Okay. When he goes to either hit me with this arm. Or he goes to get the hand off of his head so he can get his head up. I'm gonna use my hand and I'm gonna control his wrist. Okay? Keep him open. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm, I'm gonna look to do what's called the triangle choke. This is this is my personal favorite choke. Okay. Okay? Now I know this. <laughs> I'm gonna bring my foot on his hip. Now I'm, I'm gonna use my legs and I'm gonna climb his back like a tree. Like you know, like when little kids go to climb the tree uh -huh. and they gotta use their legs yep. to hook on. I'm gonna go one two and i'm going to climb up now i've started to um, attack the triangle choke so i got the party started let's get it started let's get it started in here but um, i need to keep it going okay so now 
I'm gonna bridge his hips up and get his arm across. Now, I grab my shin, okay? I'm, and I don't unlock my legs until I have my shin, okay? And I'm gonna do what's called cut the corner, okay? So I'm gonna walk my shoulders away and I'm gonna use my leg to oh hike God, it's like you're choking yourself even. Now I lock my legs tight. I'm gonna squeeze my thigh together. I'm gonna bridge up and I'm gonna pull his head down for the triangle choke. <laughs> That's ruthless. If you guys watch Khabib Nurmagomedov you can already see. and ting, ting, ting. Justin Gaethje, they fought for the UFC lightweight championship. This is what Khabib did to Ju Justin Gaethje. And he passed out within what, six seconds? Same position. Oh, he's going triangle here. Setting this triangle into the armbar. Oh, triangle choke by Omega Metal. Oh, as Gaethje comes down, China. Oh, it's over. He's tackled. It looks like he's When we talk about chokes in Jiu Jitsu, usually we're talking about like a blood choke. So if you notice, when he was, when he was choking you, and a blood choke is, you're not, when people think about choking, usually they think like, oh, I can't breathe because my, they've, your trachea is mm -hmm. collapsed. Yeah. Blood choke, you're trying to cut the carotids off. Carotids feed the blood to the brain. So what, our goal is to make them go unconscious. That's what we want. We want them to go unconscious, then you win. You can run away, they're unconscious, you can get out of there. That's the, the goal of it. They're not actually hurt. Right. You know, they're not hurt. They're gonna wake up and be fine. And I'll be gone. I'll be in my monster truck halfway down the road, you know? But, so you want to clamp the carotids off. They run right here. So when he moved my arm across, what that does is I'm choking off I, my I saw, carotids I saying, I said, with my own arm. That's what I was saying. I was like, you're getting choked with your yeah, own arm so right this now. arm, my shoulder's choking off this carotid, and his leg was across here, and that was choking off my other carotid. So I had no blood flow going to my brain for, that was a very short period. And when he let go, I could already see. Ping, yeah, your ping, eyes are red right now. Ping, ping, yeah. ping, ping. The little, it's, he has a very good triangle choke. I take partial credit for it because he's done it to me thousands of times. <laughs> <laughs> is there something that like, the average viewer could just look at, take away and say, hey, this is gonna be my self-defense like, mechanism. I should like concentrate on doing this. Train Jiu Jitsu, those, Four things that we went through are the four things that you're gonna need to know how to do. Like honestly, yeah. like if you're in a if you're in a situation where you need to defend yourself, you need to get them on the ground. Right. One, you need to be able to get past their legs. You need to pin them down and control them, and then you need to be able to move into some kind of a submission. Hopefully, you know if you're in a situation where maybe you know if you can get them to the point where you're pinning them down. Hopefully, maybe other people will be there to help you by then. Right. But if you're not, you know, those are the four things that you need to do in any fight, whether you know how to fight or not. You know, if you can pin somebody down that has, doesn't train or do anything, they're going to be so out of breath by then that they'll start to get a little weaker. And, you know, you can mount up and give them a couple punches in the face. And yeah. You punch a normal dude in the face a couple of times, they're going to be like, oh, this sucks. I'm. Like, they're gonna wanna be out of that situation. If you're a- uh, Stand up? Yeah. And, you know, another way to close the distance would be, I like underhooks, you know, from wrestling. They come under? Coming, boom, here. You paint a guy like this. Now I've got the underhook, sure. and I'm controlling this. His arm. Yep. He can't reach for his weapon. Yep. He can't reach and grab my weapon. I'm controlling here, and I can, you know, drop to a single leg, or I can strike from here, here, here. Right. This is a powerful position, and it's easy to get to. Like, you you know, we're at our safe zone, yep. and you try to punch me, and I come right here, right away. Even on a bigger guy like you, I've got leverage on you now. This is hard to move from here. Sure. Try that again. Dude, I almost had you. Sorry. That's <laughs> Honestly, I was, when we were wrestling there, I wasn't thinking about getting out. I was actually constant, trying to concentrate on breathing. Yeah. That's what I was trying to do, not hold my breath. I was trying not to, but. You want to see one of the moves that like I worry about the most? So if you're on your back, 
So I don't worry about getting choked. Like about something? And somebody, like you have your guard up. Like this? Yeah. And somebody ends up like this with your legs trapped. Okay. Pinch the toes. Like this doesn't hurt, does it? Not yet. Can you feel the tension in your knee? Not yet. I'm not even gonna do it, okay. but from here, if I make your toes go down, and your I can see it, up, I can see that happen, yeah. You don't feel pain from this, this is what's dangerous. And then you're, you blow every ligament <laughs> in your knee out. Oh shit, really? So, yeah. your, your elbow is a joint, right? Yeah. You bend the joint the opposite way, yep. you feel pain, yep. so you tap to avoid injury. Yep. What he's showing is called a heel hook. And what it does is it stretches the ligaments uh, in the knee, right? It's like the ligaments in your finger. So right? until they pop. So, yeah. Yeah. You don't feel any type of pain until they tear. Oh, man. And, but then by, at that point. It's too late? Yeah, it's too late. Yeah. So what happens, like, I mean, so that's, you say you're nervous about that, but like, how do you tap out of that? Because like, someone's like, they're not hurting. And then all of a sudden you're like. You could, the only like really high level, like, Black belts and brown belts are typically are able to do that kind of in training. And so no one can use it. You have to just be aware of kind of where What's your it? feet are. And like, if I knew Coach Kyle was like a guy that went after that a lot, I'd be like, hey, I will tap. Because sometimes you don't even feel it. Right. And you're going like crazy. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, I will tap. If that happens, don't, yeah. don't crank it on because literally you have to move it like that much. And all of a sudden you just start here. Oh man. Another mount submission. Yeah. That will happen a lot. Like if I mount on you and I'm like, boom, boom, you're yeah. gonna like reach up and try to push me away, typically. Like this? Like Either that you'd be like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is the easiest swinging to an arm lock from here. Oh yeah, that suck too. Yeah. Arm lock. So I like, even if I was swinging, I like you this. could easily just kick your leg over and be like, yeah, so yeah. what you'll do is you'll turn this way. You'll either push, typically you'll push, try to push me away. Yep. I'll arm lock you. Yep. Boom, boom, she'll be like, ah, oh, turn away. Yep. And I'll take your back. Now we're working into our choke sequence. You know, I got your back, you can't hurt me here. Okay. Or, I like this. I really like this. Like you try to hit me with this one. This, this arm? Yeah, push okay. it past. And I come into an arm triangle here. And this is cool? No. It's still a little cool. I love it. You know that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, and I, I'm not, you know, it doesn't take, yeah. I'm not breathing hard. Sometimes I'll just sit here and catch my breath. I'm like, oh, this guy sure. is so big. And, and then if, if I'm trying to, if I'm trying to get out. Yeah, I try to get out. So, yeah, no, I'm not good. I can tell you right now. Yeah. You just yeah. I mean, unless you're like just sitting here hitting you. Then when I catch my breath, I'd be like, okay, now I'm gonna finish him. <laughs> oh god, damn! It's terrible, isn't it? That is terrible. <laughs> it's like if you go to the squeeze, is that one when they pass out too? Oh yeah. It's, I mean, it feels like it's breaking so my neck. It's, like, it's like the triangle that Coach Kyle did, except you're using your arms. So your shoulder is choking yep. your crowd off here, yep. and my arm is choking your other crowd off. Where his leg is over here, and your shoulder. Okay. The kids program here is amazing. If you want to see some high level jujitsu done by little kids, it's crazy. People, even people that come from all over, all these other dojos across the states and Minnesota, they come in and watch the kids class and everybody's jaw just like hits the ground. They're like, Tyron Woods had said, he goes, if you're not willing to put in the work, you don't deserve it. You know? Anytime that anybody wants to come train, you get a complimentary 20 minute private lessons with me check us out at blackarrow.com or follow us on instagram at black arrow martial arts thank you so yeah, much yes. no thank much you. appreciate yes. thank you thank for you. having me guys yes. thank you no, thank much. you for having us here there you have it what did we learn today well ladies size doesn't matter in the dojo i also learned today that Professor Kyle is called a professor because to get your black belt, it takes the same amount of time to get your PhD. I've also learned, unfortunately, I'm built like a turtle. 
I used to think I had the apple style belly, but no, it's a turtle shell. I want to say thank you again to Black Arrow for having us out today and Coach Kyle. On a final note, Coach Kyle said anyone listening that mentions the Dan Show gets a free 20 minute lesson with him personally. So mention the Dan Show if you come in there and he will hook you up. Thanks for listening. Please like and subscribe. Make sure that you hit the notice bell. See you next week.